uh, sexual predators that are posing as gurus. Huh. And uh, and what I had said on there was more and more the sexual predators are being exposed for what they are. And those who have been abused could make a class action lawsuit and sue him for damages. Mm -hmm. That should fly. Of course, it won't undo what's been done, but it will send a message that there are going to be consequences to these types of actions and abuses. And the more that people come forward to point blank, speak about what has been done to them at the hands of these predators, the less they'll be able to explain it away. And the more the eyes of those, the others that are still under his spell will begin to see the light or at least be forewarned of what they're getting into. Yeah, that, that's, that's good actually, that's right. Yeah, I don't know why they couldn't get together and bring a class action lawsuit. Even if it wasn't out and out rape they were taken advantage of, they were duped, they were conned in, into this, you know. It yeah. wasn't done in, in all honesty. It wasn't a love relationship. It wasn't, you know, anything to do with that. They were being uh, sold a bill of goods and lied to, brainwashed, taken advantage of, and I think that that should, you know, warrant a lawsuit to be to be able to sue them and I yeah. think that would send the message yes. that it's not going to be tolerated any longer this you know people need to start standing up for what's right and uh, you know again speaking out speaking out against it put it put their personal stories out there as to what's happened you know, even if it's done anonymously, one after another after another, you know, yeah. uh, but but to put, put it out there, exactly what's happened. Yeah, that's, 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 that's actually, I, I think, yeah, that's, that's, that's right. That's the right thing to do, actually. Yeah, I think it would, it would benefit, you know, that way they get their life back to some degree and uh, stood up for themselves, stood up for the truth, stood up for the, you know, integrity of it, take their integrity back and uh, say, say, this is it, enough is enough. And it needs to start coming to light because that's otherwise they keep, you know, doing the same thing. They'll keep preying on others, keep preying on others, keep preying on others, you know. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's right. I think, yeah. But but w w what do you think about the victim mentality which these people have? Like, I mean, they feel like they are a victim, and they may be. I mean, I think it's a brave step for them. It is a brave step for them, absolutely. You know, because that one doesn't want to admit that they've been conned and duped, and one wants to, you know, sometimes stay in that victim mentality that people are going to judge me, people are, you know, this and that. Well, the one that the people should be judging is not the one that's been victimized, but the victimizer. They should have compassion for the ones that have been duped and taken in because they went there in sincerity. They went in there not knowing. They went in there believing, you know, this big story that they've been ha handed. Okay? They went in there innocently. Okay? Yeah, that's true. So if there's judgment, it should be for the victimizer, not for the, the ones that have been, you know, victimized. They should have some compassion. People should have some compassion for them and should rally around and support them. And so we need to start having places where people can get support, you know, and then get some uh, counseling, get some sort of a counseling to get them back, their standing back within themselves. 
you know, because that's important too, so they can go on with their lives. Don't stay there in the victim mentality. But if they stand up and start putting this out, then they, again, they're taking their, their own worth, self-worth back and putting out there rather than continuing to be the victim that's hidden away and shut up and, and you know, which these communities, you know, want to continue to victimize them and make an example of them or whatever. I guess, but even then it's so, I mean, like, um, so I was uh, listening to this Lenin's interview of Nityanda mm -hmm. and he was saying like how people in the ashram actually thought Nityanda was actually a god, you know. Well, that's exactly what I mean. And Nityananda is not the only one. I was sent a link for another another one that's coming forward, that people are co starting to come forward and talk about the abuses that were suffered at this guy's hands. So he's not the only one by any means. But yeah, that's exactly what I mean. They're told that, that he, is, he is a god, that he, you know, that he's representing God. And therefore, you know, if he's saying this, God can't be telling me the wrong thing. So that's what I mean. It should be a class action lawsuit because they were taken advantage of, they were duped, they have been, you know, at the hands of a victimizer, a predator. Maybe some of them weren't physically raped, but they were brainwashed. They were brainwashed into doing what they did. And that's abuse. Plain and simple. To brainwash somebody into that thing and then take advantage of them is abuse. And it should carry some legal ramifications to it, some consequences. I think, yeah, that's, that's definitely the right thing. So, you know, if people started to get together and, uh, you know, posted these sites about it, put up the sites, you know, would be willing to speak out, you know, e either on the sites or, or in the video things about what's going on, what has gone on, the truth of the situation, you know. Yeah take their standing back, stand on integrity and honesty. This is what happened. This is transparently what happened, 100%. And say, we're not going to be ruled by this anymore. You know, it's time to expose these ones. It's time to speak out. Because if we don't stand up, if, if the population doesn't stand up, who will? I'm willing to speak out against these things, but what's that going to help? It needs to be done in numbers, you know, by the ones that know the truth of the situation. They have to be the ones willing to come forward and stand united. You know, there's strength in numbers. Okay. And if enough of them speak out, it's not so easy to spin it any longer. It's easy to spin it when you got one or two that are going to come forward and that's it. It's not so easy to spin it when, when everybody's coming forward that's been truly victimized. This is not to say go out and make up stories. I mean, tell really the point blank truth and nothing but the truth of what's happened. You know, and be willing to stand for that. You know? have enough uh, compassion for others that, that they don't get drawn into this. You know? I think that that, that would be a... that at least like uh, others shouldn't... what happened to me shouldn't happen to others that would exactly. drive them. I want to save them from as much as I can from going through what I went through. I wouldn't wish that on anyone to have to go through that 
And if that means sacrificing a bit of my anonymity or sacrificing a bit of my thing and maybe being judged by some, okay, I'm willing to do that because I don't want to see another have to face what I went through. Yes, of course there's going to be some that are going to judge. There will be some that judge no matter what, no matter what anyone does, you know. But uh, at least the, the absolutely, their, your conscience will be clear, you know, because I've stood up for what's true, believe it or not. But I'm going to stand for the truth of it. I'm not going to be, you know, cowed anymore into to silence. I'm not going to sit back there in fear. I'm not going to be manipulated any longer. It's time for the manipulation to end and time for me to stand up. Time for me to stand up again. Because this, these are not the actions of one that's truly a God-man, you know, that, that's living in that reality. These are the actions of predators. They have no, they should not be in positions of any type of power, any type of, you know, where, where people are depending on them. They, they need to still be on the path. They're still seekers, and they need to, you know, be really, at this point, going within and seeking the way because... You know, it, it, it's bad. They're, they're under very heavy karma in the end for abusing these positions of power and trust. You know? So, um, yeah, I hope more people begin to come forward. You know, it's, you've got to stand up and say enough is enough. You know? Enough is enough. If we know these ones are wolves in sheep's clothing, they, they need to be exposed for what they are. Let the truth come out, that's all. It's, it's a sad situation to be into and it is it's very sad it's it's sad here you know as as a guru it's very sad to hear when when seekers are trusting in someone and thinking that they're a genuine guru and then they get used and abused like this because you know what can happen is they're not going to trust anybody any anything to do with spirituality in that lifetime that could you know, absolutely cause a, a lot of uh, trauma for them in their lives. And that's a sad thing, you know. I've gone through, you know, gone through those types of experiences, and I know what can happen, what's the outcome of them. It's not pleasant, and it's something that one has to work through in their life. And it can be quite devastating for, for some time. So I can see we've got a problem with the connection now. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, your your Skype is kind of your picture has gotten frozen. Oh, okay. <laughs> In some cycle, it's just doing this. You know, it, it's gotten frozen there. It's kind of kind of humorous, actually. It's like yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes, and you're, you're sitting behind the scenes doing something totally different, so it's kind of funny. <laughs> it's pretty hysterical. <laughs> so, anyway, on that note, let me, uh, I'll stop this conversation and I'll give you a call back because... Uh, <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's pretty funny. You're over there talking, and the head's just going. <laughs> it's stuck in that cycle. <laughs> <laughs> Looking a bit somber, though, at the time. <laughs> Such as.
I'll give you a call right back. Okay, that was...